will fall, says the Lord, for the pulpit itself has become an idol. The shepherds have been elevated to a celebrity-like status. You'll see the reason the Lord said this, says the Lord, and they play the role. They have played a role instead of shepherding my people. For some, it has become a Simon the Sorcerer-like performance where it is not my power, that's all capitalized, that moves, but a falsified, fabricated power that the enemy has injected into the vein of these churches. All right. Well, I wanted to play that clip. Uh, this, of course, is from a video that Amanda did uh, 17 hours ago, where for over an hour she gets on and brags about uh, prophecies being fulfilled, prophecies that she uttered. And the reason I played this clip, because uh, it's irony. Irony is just so welcoming sometimes. If you play back this clip, you'll hear her say things like, the pulpit has become an idol. That uh, they've played a role instead of shepherding my people. This woman shepherds nobody. It's, again, the irony. She says, it's like Simon the Sorcerer-like performance. I agree uh, when it comes to describing her. She's describing her own ministry here. And then finally she says, she says that God says, it's not my power that moves, but a falsified and fabricated power. And we know that God didn't speak through her because she is indeed an absolute confirmed false prophet. She falsely prophesied that Trump would be serving a second consecutive term. So we know she's false. But I just found it ironic because the words that she spoke in this clip absolutely describe her own ministry. She shepherds nobody. She makes psychic-like predictions based on news stories and her feelings, which do not come from God. And so if you were to watch this video, you'd hear a whole bunch of predictions that she jams and stuffs and tries to stick into prophecy. And it just doesn't work. It is vagueness, vagueness, vagueness. And even so, it does nothing to edify the body of Christ. It pulls people away from the Holy Bible and into nonsense. All the while, just for example, she did this video and another video uh, last night. And between the two videos, over on Super Chat, she pulled in over $700 for about an hour and a half of work. And what did she get paid for? For falsely prophesying and then coming out and bragging about it, but not even able to understand that when she says God's talking about Simon the Sorcerer-like performance and, you know, playing a role instead of shepherding my people, it's absolutely about her. It's incredible. Now, I'm over at my channel because for those of you that don't know, I've done some videos on Amanda. Let me come over here. I'll click that, and you can see the library. I certainly welcome you to go check these videos out because they're awesome. Uh, Ten questions for Amanda Grace. Uh, here she falsely prophesied that scientists found a new protein strain when, in fact, they didn't. And then she lied about it. But interestingly, in uh, within the realms of my library, I also did a video right here. Let me scroll down a little bit more. Where uh, I... Played the part of a prophet, uh, which I'm not. But I came in on this video and I made 20 predictions, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. And then, uh, a short time later, I came out with this first video showing that some of those predictions have already come true. And that's what we're doing again today because some of that's happened. Uh, we're going to look at that. Here's uh, a video which really details your false prophecies. So I certainly invite you to check all this out. Now, come over here. This is my list. Uh, it's called My Predictions. Look what I say here, though. If I wanted to scam people, I would pose as a prophet and pretend like God gave me this information. Look at the date that I made it. February 18th, 2021. How did I come to my predictions? Well, using knowledge from the worldwide news organizations, entertainment industries, my feelings and complete vagueness, and, of course, being nonspecific on times. I can never fail. Using this, I guess, method, which I'm exposing here, you can never disprove me. And therefore, you can never call me a false prophet if I was pretending to be one. So how does that work? That works great. Now, 
I'm showing you the list, and you can verify this with my previous videos, that it's unaltered. And the ones that are in red are the predictions that have already come true. Imagine if I was a real prophet, right? So we're going to look at this list right now. We're going to look at, look at number one here. Because we're going to go through these because some more things, uh, more predictions have come to pass. Some major rock and roll stars will die soon. This is what I said on February 28th. Now on the front page of Yahoo today, and today of course being uh, April 9th, we see that Grammy-nominated rapper DMX dead at age 50. Absolute tragedy. And uh, I'm certainly not making light of this. What I'm doing is proving a point. So to the family, my condolences. But nevertheless, here's a rock and roll star that has passed. Why does this work? Well, I'll show you why. Come back over to my list, and you can see again number one. Some major rock and roll stars will soon die. And we're going to go ahead and call this fulfilled. So I'm going to come over here, and we are going to bold that out. And we're going to chalk this up as fulfilled. Now, you're going to say, well, Drew, that's only one rock and roll star. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Because the followers are so filled with delusion and grandeur that they will, if I were uh, posing as a prophet, they would shower me with gifts and money, and I myself would be a rock star. How about that? That's the way this business works. So we'll count that as prophecy fulfilled. But we're not done there. We're going to scroll down. Look at number six. South America and certain countries will experience upheaval and poverty as they are suffering the effects of economic hardships and continued CV-19 lockdowns. Let's take a look at that one. This, of course, is a headline from BBC News. COVID surge in South America's Brazil variant spreads three days ago. And you can even see the headline over here, the Duke of Edinburgh dies. Look at what we've got here. It goes on and talks about the Brazil variant. And then it even has details on different areas of South America, including Bolivia, Venezuela, China, and then, of course, uh, capping it all off in Brazil. So that's just one article. And we, of course, can bring you over to the Regional Overview of South America. This is from ACLED. Look what it says here, bringing clarity to crisis. Let's go down here. And again, it talks about all kinds of stuff that's happening in places like Argentina, Paraguay, hundreds of environmental activists held the protest, anti-government demonstrations, more demonstrations in Bolivia, and of course, Colombia, Venezuela more, and then rounding it off with Brazil. Uh, there's upheaval there, isn't there? So I'm gonna come back to my list here of prophecies, whoops, I mean predictions, because I am not a prophet. And we can certainly, Highlight that one in red. We'll bold it out. Look, that means it's fulfilled. And again, can you imagine if I was a prophet or proclaimed to be a prophet? This would be absolutely amazing. But we are not done yet. Let's scroll down in the list. Let's see what else we can find here. Whoops, what about number 15? North Korea will begin to assert itself as a worldwide threat. Kim Jong-un again will begin to rattle his tiny cage and spew his plans to attack various locations around the world. It, it sounds pretty neat, huh? Look at I can make it. If I were to read this out loud to you, if I was pretending to be a prophet, I could say, Thus saith the Lord this day. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking on this one. North Korea will begin to again assert itself as a worldwide threat. Right? You see how that works? I'd put a little more emotion into it. I might tell you that I was up at 4 o'clock in the morning in prayer for 75 straight hours and the Lord brought me this word because that's what the best ones do even like Amanda. These are just some of the headlines you can find on North Korea. This from March 29th. North Korea accuses UN of double standard over missile tests rattling the cages. UN renews mandate of North Korea experts. It asks missile probe People watch a TV uh, showing a file image of North Korea's missile launch during a news program. Um, North Korea fires two ground-based ballistic missiles. This is from March 24th. North Korea will test more missiles to lash out at Biden. And uh, that's from April 4th. So last, it says last week North Korea fired two ballistic missiles into the sea from its east coast. So all kinds of shenanigans. Little Kim Jun un is back at it again. So that means we can come back over 
and we can come to my list here and we can call that prophecy fulfilled because that stuff is happening you guys have seen the news but we're not done yet look at number 17 music videos will become raunchier as debauchery hits its highest levels of perversion has that happened yes it has uh, you've recently heard of or maybe you've seen I don't encourage you to see this but here's the video and Lil Nas X all right uh, he did a video which was so blasphemous and raunchy and filled with debauchery including a scene obviously where he descends into hell and gives the devil a lap dance filled with all kinds of debauchery and uh, so that certainly will conclude or should I say fulfill number 17 let's go ahead and highlight that we're gonna bold it out uh, that might actually be one of the most raunchiest videos I've ever seen and it is terrible and again do not watch it uh, if you can help it uh, it's not worth it so we fulfilled 17 oh are we done not yet let's look at number 20 Joe Biden will further decline since February I think I, am I saying that right since February 18th rather not 28th I made all these prophecies whoops I mean predictions uh, on the 18th of February here we've got Joe Biden uh, this happened oh gosh uh, let me see the date here sorry about that uh, March 19th or that's when it was posted anyway but look at there he goes here's Joe <laughs> somebody remove that banana peel please I'm gonna make my way up like nothing happened everything's okay I'm gonna turn around and say hi and I'm off to where am I going well he doesn't know he's declining but nevertheless we can come back over to our list and we're gonna go ahead and highlight number 20 because hey why not prophecy fulfilled or should I say prediction fulfilled so now you've got a total if you look through this list uh, you've got a total of 10 of these predictions fulfilled 10 and I did it in less than two months less than two months how'd you do it Drew well wait a second no come on sit down don't don't clap for me well okay go ahead if you want to clap shower me with gifts send me money no don't I'm just teasing um, isn't it all just silly though isn't it all just ridiculous but more importantly you can see how utterly easy this is to do and so to the followers of these false prophets why do you continue because I'll tell you what's happening together you and your false prophet are absolutely bearing false witness against the living God you are participating in epic end times folly which you will be held accountable to remember sending money buckets and loads of money and gifts to people who have prophesied everything falsely it is unbelievable and woe to you if you don't repent and come back to the truth of Jesus Christ because this is utter nonsense all right I'm gonna wrap this video up here you were warned I'll continue to warn I pray that if you're watching this if you're following a false prophet that you will um, open your eyes and realize that it's all a scam think about some of the prophecies that they make they don't edify the body of Christ they do the exact same thing as the Hollywood psychics there's no difference it is utter nonsense so we'll wrap it up here and we'll just keep monitoring this as we go until next time for those of you that love Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness God bless you